All right, what's up, everybody? Aloha, this is Mikhail Falatea, aka Mikhail Casanova, and uh, I am here today. We're going to be talking about none other than the new Assassin's Creed that the yeah, trailer just got announced uh, a couple of hours ago. Is the time of this recording? Uh, you know, I'm here in Hawaii, so when this dropped, right, it was like two or three a.m. I'm, I'm not going to be up for that. Uh, I I knew something was going to happen because I am in the uh, Ubisoft Creator Program, but I didn't know uh, to what extent. So we're going to check out this trailer. So if you're new to the channel, hey, what's up? Aloha, Mikhail Casanova. If uh, you're back and you're used to the cast reacts, hey, hey, good to have you back. Do all the stuff YouTube likes, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get on into this trailer. <laughs> Okay. Looks like uh, Kunoichi. All I have ever known in my life, our land, our customs, my family, burns in the name of unification. Nothing of the sea. Yo, that's Yasuke? The oceans the legendary black ships, But they all come from the same river. Okay. Greed. Okay. Okay. Power. Vengeance. And you, will you continue down that river? So we're gonna have dual protagonists? Or choose another path beyond what we see? And we must look for it together. Okay, dual protagonists, okay. Not the first time they've done that either. So it's not exactly anything new. We must learn to trust, rebuild, and follow the blade. I'm digging, digging the character designs. Yasuke looks dope. Yo, he's got that big club like uh, Inke or uh, Eke uh, from uh, a Binke. I I think. Said, who do you sub? We are the shadows that serve the light. Yo. Day one. Yo, this game looks crazy. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Okay, let's, let's, let's go back a little bit. So, like, let's look at the character design. Yo, Yasuke looks so dope. 
It's so dope. You know, the crazy thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to touch on this real quick. A lot of people apparently have no clue. You know, because I, look, I haven't seen this. This is the first time I'm looking at the trailer, but I, I saw a lot of people on uh, X, Twitter, you know, the cesspit, the, the cesspit that that is, people saying like, no, oh, they, they went woke. They got a female samurai ninja person and they got a black samurai. You know, they, they just went woke and progressive. It's like, Nah, I mean, Kunoichi, it's, that's, that's always been the thing. And if you know anything about Japanese history, you know something about that. And then you got people who had no idea that Yasuke was actually a samurai. You know, it's, it's just crazy how uh, modern day and age, all this access to information at our fingertips, people are stupider than ever. But Yasuke's design, um, and I'm assuming this is Yasuke the samurai, he looks dope. Uh, the You know, like... Just spot on, especially with the dregs. I'm di I'm digging the dreads, right? Um, going over to the girl. Let's see if I can find her. I dig it. I you know, and, and typically, traditionally, Kunoichi usually had shorter length hair, so you know this right here works. But this, I need to see some gameplay because if they're going to build off of what was done in like a uh, Assassin's Creed uh Mirage, I think that was the name of the last game. I mean, it was a great game. It it just to me personally it just didn't stand out being anything um you know, like that visual right there. It's just so dope. That's such a dope visual. Uh it it didn't do anything to really stand out and feel like you know, crazy different. And then this right here uh Great, absolutely great visual, right? Like, I'm absolutely loving it. Because historically, that was his master. Um, uh, Dragon. Nobunaga Oda? That was, that was a, the master. Could be uh, Tokugawa. Yashiro. Sorry, my <laughs> my I, I it's either Tokugawa, but I I, I, I yes you, I don't really believe it's you know, I believe it was Nobunaga Oda. Uh I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I do believe it's Nobunaga Oda. But um Absolutely great, great visual. I'm excited for this game. I'm completely excited. Um some different. I know a lot of people are saying like, oh, they're you know, Ubisoft is just hopping on the, the bandwagon of all the uh samurai games that have been coming out. Um, but truthfully speaking, we've only had two big samurai games to come out in the last couple of years, which was Ghost of Tsushima, which was set before the Warring State period, or the you know, also known as the Bakamatsu, and we've had Rise of the Ronin, which is set during the Bakamatsu. Uh, so this is going to be a good in-between. So technically, if you want to look at timeline chronologically when this is happening, the thing is something like Onomusha, right? But we've had a lot of, you know, Samurai Media has really gotten very popular lately. We got the show Shogun, we got Blue-Eyed Samurai, we had Onomusha come out recently. Uh, th this is, it, it's, it's always been popular, right? The and then the countless, um, Samurai anime and manga that's out, right? It's just a popular topic, so there's nothing wrong with it. But I am completely excited for this. I think this looks really good. And, and I mean, graphically, it looks very impressive, although this is CG. But uh, we'll see. We'll see when more information comes out. But yeah, that's my thoughts on uh, this right here on Assassin's Creed Shadows. I think it looks great. I am uh, looking forward to it. I will definitely be covering it when it comes out. I am an Ubisoft creator uh, slash partner, so... I will be on that day one. But uh, yeah, why don't y'all let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. So peace out and hope we hope.